Hey y'all, Sarah Star here for the Fast Friday, where today we are at Taco Bell. Now today should be a less stressful review than last week because I am in a parking lot that no one is like ever in, so no cars are going to be coming at me and me knocking my camera over. <laughs> but we have the new Taco Bell Nacho Fries. Now I know last year uh, they did a test market in California, where I am not at, so I didn't get to get up on this, but they did like the loaded one, so it had extra stuff because this just had nacho cheese sauce. But there is a Supreme one you can get, and it, uh, I forgot the price, but it has the beef and tomatoes and sour cream. I was like, I don't need all that. This is just a dollar, and I mean, that's a good deal because I also heard that they're trying to compete with McDonald's new kind of value meal they got going on. Even though, I mean, Taco Bell has already had like a dollar type menu forever anyways, but we gotta add fries to the mix now, apparently, at a Mexican place. But let me bring you in for a close up. So here is Taco Bell's new nacho fries. So these are just the fry portion. You can see they are seasoned. So I wonder how that is going to taste. And you also get your nacho cheese sauce that's just typical that you would get with your chips and cheese that's like 99 cents as well. I always get chips and cheese anytime I order Taco Bell. But let's get this in my mouth. Let's see just how a fry tastes by itself. These are a thicker cut fries so you're getting more of a potato taste to it which I'm kind of not a fan. I like skinnier fries. The seasoning on the fries, I think it's going to be more like a Cajun type seasoning because I'm not getting any spice just from the fries themselves. Now if it was like Chipotle type seasoning or something, you would definitely get the heat from the fry alone. But this is just kind of like a little decoration, a little extra look to it. But if you ate the fry itself, it's just a normal fry that's potato-y. And they're not super hot and they're not really crispy, like this one's a little flimsy and I like crispier fries. But let's see if this cheese bumps it up a notch. So we have Todd in the car. Todd, what is this? I just wanna try to get him in, in here. So I had another review, he was in the car, but he never showed up. You want this? Well, you gotta say hi to everybody. Toddy, here. Don't give your dog human food. <laughs> I rarely, rarely do. He knows if I drop something, it's fair game, unless it's chocolate or something dogs can't have. But yeah, was that good? Yeah? Todd approves of it. <laughs> I approve of it. I approve of this as well. Um, the fries just by themselves are really blonde, just kind of potato-y and just eh. But when you dip it in that cheese sauce, it bumps it up a notch because their cheese sauce is spicy and I don't like spice. So I mean, the more you put on it, the more spicier it's gonna be. So I try not to put as much, but it's still a good little kick to get with it. And I enjoy this. It's basic fries, but they're nacho cheese fries because you need this sauce and they're a dollar. That's a great deal. Uh, I hope they keep this around because I would definitely add this to a meal if I ever got there. I don't eat my Taco Bell much, but my Taco Bell has a KFC attached, and I don't like their wedges, so I can just get these fries. Genius. Go to KFC and get these fries. So I'm not sure why Taco Bell decided to add fries to the menu, but I do hope they keep it, because I like it. I don't think it really belongs at Taco Bell, but I still like it, and I'm not going to complain about it, and it's a dollar. Let me know if you've had this and what you've thought about it. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment down below. Go ahead and let me know what you want me to review for next week's Fast Friday. And I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye.